Hi guys, welcome to Didi Dye's Crafty Corner. Today I'm sharing with you my projects for this month's oh so inspired collaboration. This month was an inspiration piece that came to us from Pinterest by Mary Wessling. You can find all the information below as well as how you can play along with us. I will have all the links down below. So my inspiration this month was that butterfly first off. I don't know, the butterfly got me and I, this was an end, by the way, this was an inlaid die cut card. That's what it was. I kind of went with a different take on it. I did an inlaid partial cut is what I did on three of these projects. One of them just happened in the middle of me making these, so I'm gonna share that with you as well. But for the butterfly, I did an inlay um, and partial cut on the wreath and the butterfly. The wreath is from Gina Marie Designs and the butterfly was from um, Memory Box. So I just did an inlay, I popped it up, I left some pieces in, I left some pieces out, I did three different colors on it, white, pink, and white, and then I colored in the center of the butterfly with a black gel pen, as well as his cute little antennas. I think this card turned out super, super sweet, and it was just breathtaking. I just think the clean and simple and white and pink of it just, just melted my heart. Now, this second piece, the second card that I'm going to show you, came out of the third card. As I was getting ready, I knew, I knew for my piece, the, my main piece this month, I didn't want to mimic that butterfly. I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to mimic it. So I wanted to do a flower inlay, and as I was cutting out this die from Memory Box to do an inlay, my mind started going in a different direction. It started going crinkled. Um, wetted down, matted up, colored, textured, and I ended up with this card. I wanted to share this with you because that's part of this inspiration, right? Um, even though this is not at all like that card, and it's not an inlaid or partial cut really, but it was going to be. It's where I started, but it's not where I ended with this piece. And so therefore, it's a great inspiration. And I love, absolutely love the texture and the look of that card. Now, the third card is my actual piece for this month. And it is an, it is an inlaid die cut card, but it is also partially cut. So for this card, I used um, just one die for the flower. And I also used a circle stitch die. And I'm gonna kind of show you what I did here quickly. So really all I did for this is I took the pieces from the inlaid, for the inlaid part of it, the flower part, and I colored them up with some, um, the Real Brush Clean marker watercolors. And then I laid them back out in the circle. I'm not gonna be using the, um, the square oval, I'm just gonna be using the oval. And I, left this if you see the oval I left it partially not die cut so the um, pot part is not cut out I'm going to be adding the pot back at the end but with some papers from Lawn Fawn so I chose some papers from Lawn Fawn this is from the new spring spring fling six by six petite paper pack I chose some colors from that pad that would go good with my coloring and I've already inlaid or laid those pieces down on the paper and then I put my top back on. I've added my flower pot to the bottom which has some more of the Lawn Fawn paper and that completed that card. I think it was super cute, very spring-like and I absolutely loved it. So then I wanted to inlay another piece. So here we go, more inspiration from this one challenge, right? And I came up with this wreath. Now I have not finished this wreath yet, but I thought I would show you the process of this wreath as well. I think it's very stunning and I wanna do something super special with it. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So to do this one, I used a die. Again, I think this one is from Gina Marie Designs. And I used the Sizzix Partial Cut Plate. You can find this in any of your local stores, but it is made for the Big Shot and it has a 
area in it that does not apply pressure to your die. So that way I was allowed to partially die cut this particular wreath in half without having it cut out the middle. Okay, so that's how I achieved that. Now I wanted the part of the wreath that was die cut out to be standing up. And I also wanted to apply some paint to it. So I used the um, Tamsy Gamby colors for that. But, and I haven't finished that one yet. I just wanted to show you this month that that's how much inspiration you can get from looking at one piece. So when you sit down to get started, the, the create creativity usually flows and my mind will always go in a lot of different directions. I don't always show it to you, but I wanted to show you this month that all four of these pieces came from that one image just looking at that one image and these are the four creations that I came up that was inspiration from that piece just from the die cutting or the inlaying um, and the butterfly you know the butterfly got me I'm not gonna say it didn't I it seems like I'm using butterflies all the time now and I never used to so I did enjoy the butterfly and I enjoyed that little wreath around the butterfly um, the flower the the flower that we did together um, that flower is a paper smooches die as well. So if I can, I'll leave links to everything below. I hope you guys are following along with us and enjoying this series. Um, don't forget you can find all the links below to stop and check by everyone else's um, products or projects for this month. And if you would like to play along with us, there is a hashtag, I was so inspired March 2019. I will have that link below as well. And don't forget to go on over and um, give our host, show our host some love as well. That is Alicia from Call Me Crafty Al. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.